my most favorite gear hack of all time. I'm sharing that with you guys right now. I call it Dreamcatcher. Actually, full disclosure, I just thought of the name like minutes ago. I know it's kind of corny. Anyway, I want to share with you the gear hack that has transformed the way that I sleep on the trail. Hey, welcome back to Follow Bigfoot, where knowledge is our niche to hiking the outdoors. I'm obviously Bigfoot. If you're new to the channel, stick around, subscribe. We go through everything and anything that you need to know to not just prepare yourself to get on the trail, but to stay on the trail and get you to wherever your final terminus may be. I wanted to share with you a gear hack that I've been using and evolving over time. This has literally transformed the way that I sleep. And when I say the way that I sleep, the quality of sleep that I get, which is incredibly important because let's face it, you just got done hiking 10, 15, 20, or 30 miles. You need your beauty sleep. Now, before I go through this hack, I want to give all of the credit of the inspiration for this hack. It's the man that actually created it. His name is Stick. He's got a YouTube channel called Stick's Blog. I will link it below here. Now, if you want to watch the original video of this gear hack, I will also link it above here and you can click and over and watch it. What I am referring to is the gear hack that Stick came up with, with keeping your pillow from moving around on your sleeping pad throughout the night. I have taken this to another level and added a few elements. So what you'll need for this gear hack, first and foremost, you need your air mattress. Obviously, you need your pillow, your rain jacket, which you should probably always have with you. And lastly, a down jacket, which I have with me on every single hike, no matter what season I'm hiking in. Now, for about a year, I was using Stick's tactic of using a shirt to go over my sleeping pad, throw my pillow in there, and it's worked out great. Now, as I have evolved, I lately haven't been bringing an extra shirt with me on many weekend trips. Uh, on a through hike, uh, I, I probably still would bring a second shirt, but outside of that, even for a week hike, a lot of times I, I don't. What I have done is evolved that and used started using my down jacket to be able to keep my pillow uh, compressed against the sleeping pad without moving. So I'm, I zip my down jacket around my sleeping pad with the pillow, below it and it adds just a little bit more cushion and it's comfortable. Now the one thing that's kind of been missing that I wish I had was having more loft underneath my head and the problem is is a lot of times I don't have a lot of extra stuff to be able to stuff underneath my head to act as uh, that extra loft like maybe I did in the past when I had other layers of clothes. Instead of using my down jacket to zip around the air pad, I actually use my rain jacket. I always have my rain jacket and I always will have my rain jacket with me. And then what I did, I still shoved my pillow underneath the rain jacket now, but above the air pad, but then I stuffed my down jacket on top of the air pad and zipped the rain jacket over. So now I have about the loft of a pill that I would have back at home. And with the layer being my down jacket, it's nice, it's comfortable. It, it almost feels like a real pillow. Obviously the outside of it is my rain jacket. Now you could do one of two things. You could use the down jacket on the outside and stuff your rain jacket in the inside if you wanted to, or, or do it my way. This has been an absolute game changer just because I've been sleeping so much better and Everything in this gear hack is stuff that I will always have with me on every single hike. Okay, now it's your turn. I've shared, you share now, right? Throw your favorite gear hack below in the comment section so all of us can read and learn from each other. If you found anything in this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for what's going on here on the channel. We have two or three big events that are happening in the next 45 days. I'm going to share them with all of you next week. So until then, hike strong, be smart. I'll see you on the trail.